Hey guys, it's Miss C. Lovely coming at you. Um, I want to just talk to you guys a little bit tonight, um, if you allow me this time. Um, forgive me if my eyes look really droopy, I'm sleepy, but I just want to get this out before I go to bed. Um, thank you, first of all, to all of you guys for all of your wonderful, sweet um, compliments and, 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 and feedback on the hair in my last video. I had a blast with that video. Um, and the hair is obviously standing around for you guys. Uh, you guys feel strongly about it, so I'm going to keep it here a while. Um, but I want to come on and talk to you guys um, about something that happened over the weekend. First, let me say how it started because, you know, you can't post everything. But, you know, I post every now and then on Facebook a few things. And I was a part of this group. Needless to say, I'm no longer a part of it. I have removed myself from it. Um, anyway, basically, I posted um, on my wall. You know, it was an NSV for me. And I didn't feel like I needed to get into depth. I really like Miss Tula to get to the point. Basically, I posted something that I had eaten. And I had made a better choice um, over something that I was craving. My body wanted something and I refused to give in to that thing. I was going to make a better choice. Um, I was, you know, um, Flo was in town, so it was either something chocolate or something sweet or salty. And um, I was not about to go out and I was about to order the dreaded pizza. I wasn't about to... Um, Eat anything that I feel is not going to help me get where I'm trying to go. And you guys, so I had bought uh, these Vita muffins from uh, Target when I went shopping. I just wanted to try them. So it was a new food for me. And uh, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but I've never really been a carb person, a uh, heavy eating carb person. That's how I've lost my weight because my focus is more so on my protein. But anyway, um... I chose that day. I chose the Vita Muffin. It's a Vita Top. It's 90 calories. It's sugar free. It's full of vitamins and minerals. Excellent choice. Anyway, I was so proud of myself. I said, like, you know, I made a better choice. I could have got me a lava crunch cake, and that thing was 700 calories. I could have did this, and I did that. But I did not. That's the point. So anyway, posted it in this group, and the feedback I got on it to me was devastating because I'm like. As a fellow WLSer, I felt so attacked. I got comments like, "Oh, I don't eat that. You know, um, I don't eat that anymore. I eat that before. Oh, I, I don't eat that unless I'm about to work out. Um, or, oh, that's way too many carbs. As a WLSer, I can no longer have. We can't. We shouldn't be eating those. Or we, we I can no longer have that. And I'm just like, seriously, what? Um, it was just surprising to me because. You know, but see, I, I said, you know what, I made a better choice. And that's all that matters. And I feel so strongly about this, not because of the comments. I could care less because I know what I'm doing on my journey. I know all the hard work I've done. That's not the point. The point is, is as a fellow WLSer, people need to learn that your journey is not the same as somebody else's. And just because you might have sat there and ate carbs all day doesn't necessarily mean the next person is doing it. Or, you know, that that choice is not a good choice. Whatever works for you. You guys know that I hit the gym two and a half, three hours at a time. And so, and uh, like I said in the post in response to these people, I said, you know what? You know, uh, you actually do need a good, a, a partial amount of, of carbs to replenish glycogen stores. It's a fact. Your body can't just run on protein. You know, you do need some type of carbs. Um, to work out because what your body goes for first. You don't want it breaking down your muscle and you become flab. And I'm going to actually talk about that in my update, um, skin elasticity, um, how, keep, how we can avoid the, the jiggliness and the, the, uh, the bat wings as we call them. But anyway, that's, that's for Tuesday. But I, it was just, you guys, it was devastating to me because I'm like, you know, we're supposed to we're supposed to support one another. Now, granted, these pe a lot of these people don't know me from McKenna Paint. You know, my YouTube friends and my Facebook uh, friends, especially because I have uh, two different pages. I have one for my journey and one for my personal page, which I'm on my journey more. And, you know, it just, that just really put a bad taste in my mouth, you guys. 
and don't get me wrong I'm not letting it take up my whole life I'm just saying it's it was on my heart because I'm like what about another person that I'm that's the type of person I am I think about the next person what about a person that couldn't stomach that you know it makes a person not want to share what they're eating what they're doing and, and it makes a person want to be private and what I'm saying with this is <laughs> two things one, you have to be resilient on your journey in the sense that you have to know what you have to know that you know that you're doing all that you need to to get where you're going. And even more than that, know that there's no such thing as a perfect journey. You know, people we people need to stop judging other people for what they do and making and trying to make them feel bad. You know, I was like, I refuse. Let's make feel make me feel bad because I decided to have. Um, a top of a muffin that's only 8% of my daily carb intake where I don't take any other carbs in. I'm not going to let somebody do that to me. And so whoever may be watching this that are my subscribers, that, that follow my journey, that are my family, not my, you know, <laughs> I just want to tell you guys to be encouraged. And don't be ashamed of what you decide to put in your mouth, especially if you know that that was the best choice for you as compared to what you could have had once upon a time. Don't let anybody step on your toes. Don't let anybody discourage you. Don't you be discouraged to get on here and say, I ate this today. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Be encouraged knowing that you are doing and you are, <coughs> what you are doing is an acceptance to what you once would have done. You guys, I have, I have come a long way, but I have a long way to go. I have a long way to go. And I am not leery of that. And I am determined to see it through. Um, but I'm not going to, I am not, I refuse to be on this journey and decide that I am going to completely cut something out because somebody else doesn't agree with it or eat the way you think I should or, or, or whatever the case may be. Your best is your best is what I'm saying. So if somebody else can relate to this or has went through this, be encouraged and if you're a person that isn't realizing you're doing this to people be careful because one day you might be the person that needs encouragement because you're having a hard time or if you're not having a hard time and you're doing the right thing and you're getting picked at you're gonna need somebody to understand you so all I'm saying with this is like I said one be resilient in your journey and number two Let's be a lot more loving to one another. It's so important. Now, granted, you know, like I said, this is not my YouTube family has done this. Um, <clears throat> so, um, forgive me if I've said a lot of nothing to somebody, to some of you. But if you understand, you know, uh, you guys give me your feedback. So, I love you guys, and I will see you Tuesday. Thank you for listening, and I will talk to you all later.